Hello YouTube, this is Quinn, that's Naz, the iPhone guy, and this is uh, the reveal of the security flaw from within iOS. Now I did promise you a case review today and I apologize that that didn't come. It's the end of the term so I'm cramming work in at the last minute and things have been hectic, things have been crazy and I simply haven't had the time to edit and upload videos. So this is just a quick screen capture and I do want to show you a very, very, very major security flaw that was enabled and discovered in uh, iOS. It dates back to all the way um, it dates all the way back to OS 3.0. So if you have 3.0 or above uh, to 4.1, it doesn't matter the device as long as it's an iPhone. Your phone is uh, vulnerable to this security flaw, and it's a pretty major one. So you know everyone has that uh, password screen. I don't actually use it, but there's people that have it. Now what happens is you have the ability, and it's the law, that manufacturers give you the option to make an emergency call. So even if you don't know your password or you're distraught or something like that, you can easily uh, call 911. Now there is a hole that has been discovered from within Apple's security software that will allow you to, through the emergency call screen, access a contact list. So all their information, all the telephone numbers, all the emails, you can even make calls from the phone that are not to 911. Um, when you try an email or when you try and make a call on the emergency screen, it will say emergency calls only, but this actually gives you access to the menu. I'm going to try to do it twice. I did get it to work, but ever since I gotten it to work, I haven't been able to do it again. So it's kind of hit and miss and it's very precise. So what I'd like you to do is try it, you know, several times and let me know if you can do this on your phone because uh, I'm not the only one that's experienced this. And I actually did find the article off in Gadget. I just wanted to spread it to you guys. So what you need to do is set a password on your device, you slide to unlock, you're going to hit emergency call, and then very rapidly you're going to dial in a bunch of numbers. Then you're going to make a phone call and at the same time you're going to press the sleep wake button. Not exactly the same, but just barely staggered. Like, ba-boom. Okay? So we're going to try this one more time. I'm going to give it one shot. If it doesn't work, I'll give up, but I want you to see if yours works. So you're going to dial a number. Now, see, it doesn't work for me, but I can guarantee that it actually did once, so I don't know if I, it's just my bad luck or if it only works once, I don't know, but I did get it to work, and I want to see what uh, happens with you guys, so let me know, does that unlock your phone? Once again, you're going to slide to unlock, press emergency call very rapidly, punch in a bunch of numbers, like six or seven numbers, you're going to press call, and then at pretty much the same time, you're going to press the sleep-wake button, just ever so slightly staggered, so emergency call call. I don't know. I can't get it work to work anymore, but I did once and I want to see if it works for you guys. So let me know. This is Quinn. That's Nazi iPhone guy. I'll get a case review out to you guys tomorrow. And as always, stay snazzy.